a beautiful mother of two claiming she was kidnapped by gunmen and held for days against her will. They are portraits of what appears to be the all-American family. Quinn Gray, her husband Reed, and their two young daughters. A couple married for 10 years. Attractive, wealthy, and seemingly carefree. But this past Labor Day weekend, an improbable twist. Quinn disappeared from the couple's multi-million dollar beachfront home near Jacksonville, Florida. The 37-year-old housewife later told authorities she was kidnapped at gunpoint and tied up, describing a hellish four days of forced captivity and sexual assault. The sheriff says Gray wasn't a victim at all. Quinn Gray was not kidnapped, uh, and uh, we stand by that, and um, she'll have her... $50,000 from her husband, a successful business owner who makes upwards of $70,000 a month. Arrested this man, 25-year-old Bosnian immigrant Jasmine Izmanovic, now jailed on extortion charges, including this Jacksonville motel, where the manager says they looked like boyfriend and girlfriend. I looked straight at her. I said, hey, not in my head. She said, hey, didn't seem like she was in distress at all. While he's stunned by the allegations, Reed Gray is standing behind his wife and paying for her defense. I want her to feel great about everything after this is all over. I think that's going to be the outcome. Quinn Gray's lawyers say she was suffering from an untreated, undiagnosed, manic phase of by lawyers say Osmanovich's claims, including that he and Gray had an ongoing romantic relationship, are completely false. Did you have with Osmanovich? No, I did not. I did not know him. What do you want to say to your family? Do you have an apology? I love you and I hope to see you soon. Basically, the prosecution says there was no kidnapping. She was not involved in this other than that she was having a romantic and sexual relationship with this man. The guy at the hotel says she didn't seem to be duress, and there were chances for her to escape. Several occasions, she could have taken off. How do you explain that? But the bottom line is Quinn Gray on Labor Day weekend of this year was, was kidnapped. Her reaction to the kidnapping, it, it may seem bizarre. There's an audio tape, and, and that audio tape apparently has a recording of sexual relations between these two people, Mr. Osmanovich and Quinn, followed by what seems to be a rehearsal, a discussion of how they're going to cover this all up. And Absolutely. We believe that that tape is a, an audio recording of a woman who's been kidnapped, abducted, and uh, being raped. So you use the rape shield law as a way to get that stricken from evidence. Absolutely. Let, let me make sure our viewers understand that. Is, is it Quinn Gray's assertion that she never met this man before or simply had no relationship, romantic or sexual, with him prior to this weekend? Quinn Gray had no relationship with this Bosnian uh, Osmanovich prior to Labor Day weekend. He came by on two occasions prior to that weekend under the, under the guise of misdelivering a package, and then he came back a few days later. So he was at their house on two occasions. He, on two, he brought a package and then a few days later came back saying it was a, a package that was misdelivered. That's how we believe he targeted, targeted her. So you think that he was casing the place or, or targeting her. And I would imagine the prosecution might say that's a way to cover two prior visits to her house but what, by what, this man. But what's more but what's more telling is, is on the second visit when he came back to retrieve this package, Quinn actually called Reed and said, you remember, and said, you remember that package that was misdelivered? The person's here to pick it up. Where did you put it? my family and will do whatever I can to make sure that Quinn receives all of the help and support that she needs. He is funding her defense, correct? He has been behind her rock solid 100% from the beginning. How is she doing? She's doing rather well. She, of course, she's very anxious about what's going on. Uh, she's in the middle of her treatment and uh, she thought it was very important that we disclose and discuss you know, the, uh, the the problems that she's had and what she's been going through. Uh, you know, what's telling is Quinn Gray may not have reacted the way you or I would react or someone else would have reacted, but she's alive today, and so however she did react, it was the appropriate thing she did at the scene. It is stunning that the sheriff is coming out and saying that he still believes it's a kidnapping. From the day Quinn was abducted and released, Reed Gray has been asking, and they've been promising, we'll show you they knew each other before September 4th, 2009. Eight weeks have passed. Not one email, not one text message, not one cell phone record. They've, they've done the computer searches. There is nothing that supports their contention that it's a fake kidnapping. Guys, thank you for being here. We're going to follow this story closely. All right, thank, thank you for having us.